Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to coat your bolts and other metal parts so that you can have some type of protection against rust. Most of you know that I rebuild and refurbish watercraft carburetors and it's very common for me to see these types of bolts and plates rusted out um, and, and that's because you have ethanol gasoline sitting in there over time and the water separates and, and it wears at uh, these coated metals. Let's talk about the tools and materials needed for today. Um, you're going to need some type of oil that's going to help coat the metal. This is going to provide the protection after it gets heated. You're going to need some type of tool or implement to get rid of the rust. Um, you can work at it with a, a brass brush. You can have some type of uh, abrasive or buffing wheel. Um, or if you have the means, you can soda blast the rust off. Lastly, you're going to need a blowtorch to heat up the metal and some vice grips to hold that piece of metal over the flame. That way you don't get burnt. And as always, make sure you are thinking about safety. Um, wear some safety gloves and some safety glasses. When coating bolts, you can use a variety of products. The most common product you're gonna see being used to coat bolts are oiled linseed oil and WD-40. Um, I've used Marvel Mystery Oil and it has worked pretty well. Um, I'm also gonna throw these two in the mix. I'm gonna try this XPS two-stroke oil and I'm gonna try some gear oil. Um, we're going to see how those look. The first step is to remove the rust. Uh, there's a couple ways you can do this, but depending on what type of finish you want the end product to have is going to be determined by the method that you use. So method one would be taking the part and submerging it in vinegar overnight. It's going to take a while, but it is going to remove the rust. Um, and that's also going to keep the metal nice and smooth. Um, you can then take a, a buffing wheel or a polishing wheel and, and polish it off nice and smooth and shiny. Um, the other way is by soda blasting. When you soda blast the part, it's going to create a matte finish. Step two, you're going to want to clean the part of any residue or dirt or dust. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the part and dip it in acetone. Step three is to heat up the part until it is bright orange all over. When that part is still hot, you're gonna submerge that in the vat of oil and let that cool and then take it out and dry it with a cloth. Let's take a look at our results. Um, let's start with the XPS two-stroke oil. It coated the part, but it gave it a, a dark carbony finish, so didn't really like that one. Um, another one that didn't do so well was our, our gear oil. Kind of a light, more inconsistent finish. Um, well, I tell you, the, the Marvel Mystery Oil did pretty well, um, but I do not like that as much as the WD-40 and the boiled linseed oil. Uh, the WD-40, pretty darn consistent finish, um, darker, worked out really well. And I wanna say what came in first place was our boiled linseed oil. And here's an example between a matte finish done with soda blasting and a shiny polished finish. And um, you know, I'd, I'd say the boiled linseed oil and the WD-40 worked out the best. So there you have it. That's a simple and easy way you can coat your metal parts in a finish that is corrosion resistant. Thank you for watching my video. Like, subscribe, and share. And as always, God bless. Thank you.